AI video just got a huge update. You can now generate expressive performances by using a character image. It's called Act 1, and today we're going to show you how it works. And what you see right now was actually created in Act 1. That's right, this character is a perfect example. And me, this character as well. Act 1 allows you to bring a character image to life by uploading a driving performance to precisely influence expressions, mouth movements, and much more. So let's first start this process by first selecting an image that we want to add my voice and facial expressions to. And so for that, we're going to head over here to my Mega Prompts database, and I add new prompts to it almost every single day. You can also go to different tabs, and you can see all of the different categories. Everything that you need, it's here. And I have a few categories I want to try today. And so that's the great thing about having a place to store all your prompts. By using a filtering process, where in this database, I have all these views over here on the left-hand side. How do people get access to these databases? So I'll include links in the description for these prompts databases that you just saw. So to begin, I can head over here to Runway's page and you can see right off the bat, they have a really good specific guide on how to get the best performance utilizing Act 1. The first thing we need to do is first find a video of yourself or any other talking head that you want to use and replace with an AI image or an AI video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm over here right now in Final Cut Pro. What I'll quickly do is come in here and then grab this specific clip, okay? This is a clip I'm using in this video. Once I have it selected, I'm then just going to simply export it into my downloads folder. Now it's time to select our actual image. And for our first selection, let's just go ahead and start relatively safe. But you want to make sure you'll stick around because then in the next two, we're going to take it up to a whole new level. I'm in my free pick tab and I selected this image right here. That's the image we'll make. It's going to be safe. It's another human. All right. So here we are over here in Runway ML and you can see it right off the bat. It says introducing act one. Go ahead and select try now. Okay. Now that we're in here, we'll see all we have to do is add a video up to 30 seconds with clear facial expressions and minimal body movement. So the first thing we'll select is going to be our asset. The asset's basically your original video. So in this case, it's going to be myself where I just downloaded the clip from Final Cut Pro. So let's go ahead and now just click and drag this over here into this window just like that and give it a few seconds to upload and it's going to automatically upload and that's going to be your original asset. It will then detect a human face. Let's give it a test run. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That subscribe button. Okay, very simple, short video, less than five seconds. Very good. Now let's go ahead and choose our image that we want to use. And we already have a few examples they can give us. So they give us a few options that we can go with, but let's go ahead and now add our own. So I'm going to select this upload button right here and then click and drag the image that you want in here. Okay, so we're doing just that. And then there is the image right there into this window. Again, it's going to take a few seconds. It's going to make sure it detects the face. And then there we have it. Simply select crop, but this image was AI generated with the right aspect ratio of 16.9, so I won't have to crop, but 16.9 is going to be the recommended aspect ratio. Now we have myself, okay, here is me talking, and now we're going to transform it and now have this man talking right here. Now while that's waiting, let's go ahead and then choose our second image, and each image that we use is going to be a little bit more difficult. I really want to test this and see how good of a job it can actually do. Okay, so now for this next image, I'm back over here to my mega database, and on the left-hand side, I specifically chose the gallery view and mid journey. So as I scroll all the way down, I already have the image I want to use. And next we're going to come back over here into runway. And now we're going to do the same thing. But first notice this, it looks like our first generation is already done. Let's go ahead and test it to see how good of a job this did. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And please don't forget to hit that. Subscribe. Okay. That's pretty incredible. Let's do a comparison. Look on the left-hand side and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I blinking hit it perfectly. My eyes are closed on the left, his eyes are also closed on the right. That is amazing because it's doing such a good job with these facial expressions. What let's see it? how I would sound in a Shrek voice. And while this one's thinking, last but not least, let's go to our third image. And this one might be the toughest, but it's going to be the most impressive. Let's see how good of a job it could do with Benjamin Franklin on a $100 bill. Do you think it could detect a face? Let's find out. But first, it looks like our Shrek image has been completed. Let's go ahead and hit that play button on this one. Make sure you check the links in the description for the ultimate prompts databases. Ultimate prompts databases. I gotta be honest, that's actually not bad at all. In fact, it's actually quite impressive. Okay, so last but not least, let's do our final one. And again, I'm gonna bring in my third clip and here is the image of Benjamin Franklin right here, okay? So let's go ahead and expand it to make sure it could all crop within this window. That's about as good as we can get it. That's pretty good, okay. So once that's ready, go ahead and now select crop. Okay, wow, surprisingly, it was able to detect the face. This is gonna be very interesting. Now for reference, here's 
here's the video I'm and using. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be very simple, less than five seconds, but let's go ahead and now select generate. Okay, it's done, and I'll be honest, it did a very good job. There we go. Now, I started out with my eyes closed. Look at him. Over here, his eyelids are definitely closed, and watch his blinks mid-sentence. Look at this. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Perfect. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's see. I blink twice. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's see if he blinks twice. And please don't forget to One, hit that subscribe button. Two. Beautifully done. Facial expressions match up quite well. So there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching this video.